In other news, a special training on moral reconnation therapy opening on Grand Bahama today. During the opening ceremony, Minister of Social Services and Urban Development Obi Wolshkam and opposition leader Michael Pintard commending the LEAD Institute for hosting this rehabilitative certification course. Men have lost their way. That is why the LEAD Institute is fundamentally important and the partnership is fundamentally important because we now must move with a sense of haste to arrest the mind before they commit the crime. We must find young men and reach out and touch and show them love. Many join gangs because gangs are providing for them that sense of place, that sense of belonging, that sense of love. Many are not feeling it within their own environments. We may be on the right road and many times headed in the right direction, but clearly we are not moving at the right pace. Because our boys and girls continue in many instances to develop into men and women who have tremendous dysfunction. So in the race to save our communities, we must move faster to reach them at the point of infancy, at the point they're in preschool and primary school. So that when they get in high school, that they are well adjusted, they have formed habits that will make a lifelong difference in their life and by extension their family and the communities. Well, President and CEO of Lead Institute, Troy Clark, says this training can alter the very fabric of the local society. Meanwhile, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Cheryl Darrell, says the government remains focused on rehabilitating juvenile offenders throughout the country. As a nation, we cannot afford to ignore the potential in persons who slip through the cracks, for a short of social expectations or are found guilty of being on the wrong side of the law. Lead's goal is to ensure that every Bahamian who requires pre- and post-correctional facility assistance or is deemed at risk is supported and equipped to take on the world and make meaningful contributions wherever they live. This administration and the minister are keenly aware of the need to develop a juvenile justice system and programs with emphasis on providing restorative justice and alternative sentences, sentencing interventions for juveniles. The old adage of a village being responsible for raising our children is still relevant today.